Emergency conditions across much of Texas as flooding brings death and destruction. The San Antonio area was hardest hit. I never thought anything like this could be this bad. The president presses for a breakthrough at the Middle East peace talks. And as election day approaches, a key group is getting extra attention. From NBC News World Headquarters in New York, this is NBC Nightly News, reported by Soledad O'Brien. Good evening. We begin tonight in Texas, where heavy rainstorms have triggered deadly floods over a 200-mile area from San Antonio to Houston. At least 10 people are dead. Thousands have been forced from their homes. National Guard troops are helping with rescues. And forecasters tracking the storm say this saturated area will get still more rain. The latest now from NBC's Jim Cummins. It is the worst flood in San Antonio history. More than a foot of rain in little more than 36 hours, up to two feet in some places, turned small creeks into raging rivers, knocking out telephone service for 55,000 customers and electricity in 36,000 homes. Hundreds of people have been rescued from their homes, including this woman. Yeah, my husband's on the roof. Your husband's on the roof? Uh-huh, they're supposed to go back and get it. And at least five people were killed by the floods in the metropolitan area, most of the victims trapped in their cars. James Conger escaped from his truck. My truck was covered with water, and I held it to the floor, kept my foot on the brake and kept it revved up. I was doing about two miles an hour down my road, and the water was up over my hood the whole time it was coming out. At one point, the city's 911 emergency system was knocked out by the high water at a time when there were too many emergencies. Throughout the night, families were ripped apart by the raging water. Most were reunited. These people in a wedding party had to be rescued from the rehearsal dinner at a local church. I'm supposed to be getting married today at 6 o'clock. Many of San Antonio's roads and highways are closed by the flooding. Some motorists were caught by surprise. I was coming around the corner and the water caught me right there. In New Braunfels, north of San Antonio, along the Guadalupe River, homes and businesses have been destroyed. And in nearby Lavernia, Texas, population 500, many people were driven from their homes. Yeah, all old timers said it's the worst it's ever been. It's continued to rain here off and on throughout the day, and already some people are returning to their homes to assess the damage. Including Ivan Ramju, who found that the first floor of his home is knee deep in water. I never thought anything like this could be this bad. Ramju is among thousands of flood victims in South Texas tonight. We'll make it through it, we'll rebuild, and we'll start all over. This is just a temporary setback, that's all it is. But all the water that fell here yesterday is moving down the rivers toward the Gulf of Mexico, threatening homes and forcing evacuations all the way to Houston, 200 miles away. Jim Cummins, NBC News, San Antonio.